This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And we are back in some Valheim with some more 100 day challenge shenanigans. And uh, we're going to continue right where we left off. We are exploring over here, exploring the outskirts of the swamp. So part of the reason that I'm doing this, and actually, you know what? That reminds me, I actually need to kick up my my view range because I have that turned down. Okay, so now my draw distance is kicked up a little bit too high, so we should be able to see a little bit further. So as I was saying, part of the reason you want to do this is because it can allow you to easily scout out to see if there's any crypts near your swamp without actually going into and dealing with the swamp. Now I know not all maps allow this. Sometimes you gotta like, you know, you sail around and there's a little bit of land and the only thing that is that land is swamp. Well, in that case, you sail around it with a boat. Um, but when we have a situation like this where we have force connected to the land or to the swamp, it's easy to kind of just hang out around the outside and just kind of peek in there and see if we see any goodies that we want. And then when we do, we can just make a straight line for said goodie that we find. So I'm not really seeing too much here. I do see, oh, actually I take that back. Looky there, right on the edge, turnips. That's one of the things we came for. Turnips right off the bat, how about that? And then the other thing I want is some Draugr action here. Oh yeah, okay, all right, we're gonna wait. Hold on, hold on. And it's starting to get dark too. Or did I go too far into the biome? The other thing is, is we can hang on the outskirts of the biome and uh, we don't have to deal with the dark and rainy, but I think we went a little too far in there. Um, I want this Draugr. Come here, buddy. Or not, okay, and we're gonna get this, this leech too. Uh, I'm gonna actually pick up the blood bag this time, unlike in last episode where I was a total failure. Hey, die right where the Draugr died. Yeah, perfect, okay. I can't see anything in that craptastic water, so we're just gonna wade in it real quick. Okay, we got the blood bag. Did we get the entrails? That's the question there, and let's head back out of here. Oh look, some gray dwarves apparently wanted to try their luck with some leeches and failed miserably. All right, let's go back over here and see if we can get this biome to swap back. Hey dear, see if we can get the rain to stop, or maybe it's just raining everywhere, who knows? Yeah, I'm not finding any crypts or anything like that. What we did find, what is this? What is this? Oh, that's, is the, is that a Draugr spawner? Is there sp Draugrs down? Okay, there's one, is there a spawner down there? I feel like there might actually be a spawner. It's a, it's a Draugr farm pit already pre-made for us. That's, that's super nice. That's a good little find there. I'm not having any luck on the crypt though or any crypts at all, not really seeing too much. So that means we're probably gonna have to actually like go into the swamp. All right, so I didn't really have any luck. I think what we're gonna do is um, we do have the stuff to make a portal. I think I'm just gonna throw down a portal somewhere around here. I'm not exactly sure where I wanna, I mean that little island over there might actually not be that bad. You can see how it kind of like, Actually, I got an idea. I got a game plan. Okay, we have this little island right here, and that tree right there should be a non-destructible tree. So I think, uh, well, we need to put a couple of things in the boat here because I don't have any room in my inventory. We're gonna have to do a little, little night building here. Let's throw that in there, and that in there, and that, and that. Well, I do have a little bit of wood on me, which is good. Okay, so I thought I was gonna have to knock down some trees, but Apparently I came more prepared than I thought I did. Uh, let's knock this guy out before he realizes we're here. Oh yeah, look at that, one shot. Okay, so I think right there might not be the worst idea to put up a little base. Uh, we do need to throw down a bench and I don't know. Hmm, we might, we're, we're probably gonna have to get creative and we got a lot of leech action too. Why can I not place that there? Come on. Holy crap, look at all the leeches. Okay, hold on. We gotta get rid of these guys first. Yeah, leeches. Yeah, leeches, come get you some. We have serious stamina issues because it's nighttime and we're cold and we don't have our buff. Okay, there we go. Was that all of them? Oh look, here come more. 
It's a leech fiesta. And now skeletons. Okay, so it looks like instead of building, what we're gonna be doing is hanging out here and farming all the local wildlife because they are just everywhere. Look at all these skeletons. Yeah, skeletons. Get you some of that. Get you some hammer action. And now we're being shot by a skeleton. Oh, you made a mistake, buddy. You made a big mistake. Okay. Okay, now, now can we do things? Let's see if we can collect this stuff. Okay, we got that. Look at that leech trying to get me. Look at him. So anyway, let's see if we can attach. Is it too far away? It is too far away. So what if I, what if we bridge it? Let's do this. Now is it too, it's still too far away. Okay, let's continue to bridge. Let's attempt to get some light too so that you guys can see a little bit better. I mean, I'll put the filter over it, but still. Okay, can I please just place something on the side of this tree? Oh, holy crap, we finally, we can do it. Okay, so I wanna rotate it. I can't really see what's going on. Something like that maybe, and let's build out. Can I build just the tiniest bit of stairs to get up there? All right, now we're rocking and rolling. Now we're, now things are happening. Okay, I think we're pretty good now. We're gonna drop the portal. We got a little bit of some sum here. We're gonna call this a uh, swamp hole. Okay, and then we're gonna copy that because we're gonna need to take that back and put that in the other. What is this dude doing? Hey, idiots, get off my boat. Great, great. Um, let's attempt the hammer. Oh, he hits hard and the hammer does very little to him. But we need to get rid of the skeleton. Okay. The Draugr is not a big deal when it comes to the hitting him with the, the arrows. The skeleton, it's not nearly as effective. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're good. We got more Draugr over there. Okay, we're getting out of here because we're very low on stamina. And uh, we've placed the portal. That's what we needed. And now we need to head back to the house and activate the portal over there. Put down our sign and then we can come back over here and explore some more. And we made it back just in time to encounter a storm. That's, uh, that's fun times. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get this into the dock. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna attempt it. We're gonna see what happens here. We have no water in the dock. <laughs> Come on, water in the dock. Oh nope. Um maybe? May oh okay, alright, here we go, here we go. Turn on turn it on in there. And uh yep, come on. Come on, we got this. Just go forward just a little bit more. We just need the tiniest bit of momentum. And perfect. That's perfect spot for it. Okay, uh, good luck, boat. So uh, we need to grab a tiny bit of coal so we can make a sign here. What is it, like two, one, two? I don't know, I'm gonna grab two. Grab two coal and let's run over here. We need to put down a sign and then we can change the portal. Well, let's change the portal first so I don't forget. Okay, so there we go. And then what we do is we just come over here to furniture sign and we'll put it right there. And there we go. So now we know, oh, it's backwards. It helps when the sign is not backwards. That's always uh, a good thing. Let's try this again. There we go. And bam. Okay, fantastic. So that, why does it say unconnected? It's not unconnected. That's literally what we called it. Maybe I just need to step away and then go back. If I have to go all the way back there because of something stupid, hey, you. Okay, so it looks like it didn't save the tag that I put in. So when that happens and you're in a situation like this, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So right now we're unconnected. Apparently that other one over there is unconnected as well. Now we could build two separate portals. I could go over there, build another, or build a portal here, go over there, build another portal and, and do it that way. But you can also run up to it once it's activated like this, it's already connected. So now we can change this to 
swamp hole it's still going to say that but when we walk through it it's going to take us to the portal that it's already connected to um, we have to do it relatively quickly though so we're going to go back to unconnected so what you do is you do this it's now swamp hole and then run through it real quick and now that pops us out over here now this one is not connected but if we put back in swamp hole and we walk away from it and we walk oh nope we walk back to it you can see it was active there now it's active now if we walk through it it brings us back to our base all right we got our comfort buff let's head back over here we got 14 minutes Hopefully that's uh, enough to explore a little bit over here. We've already lost a little bit of daytime because I had to step away for a hot second. But uh, yeah, we should be good. All right. So yeah, I know this isn't much of a, a setup over here and uh, we can't even use the workbench, but it'll do for now. We'll finish it later. I don't feel like finishing it right now. Uh, let's fight this Draugr. Do we bows? Yeah, let's bows. Hey, buddy. We're going to miss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a lot of Draugr action. They run so derpy. They run like they have a diaper full of crap. Like they just got a big old diaper. It hasn't been changed in way too long. And it's just super full. Yeah, give me all those entrails. Okay, so... Um... I don't see any signs anywhere. I guess, I guess we're just gonna run across the the way here. Um, we can kind of level things out. So one trick you can do with the swamp, you can kind of start high and just kind of level things out a little bit. There may be a situation where like right here it won't raise, but we can in some areas get it to raise a little bit more. This can kind of help protect you from leeches and stuff a little bit. It's not, it's not super ideal, but it, it can be used to create some pathways just to kind of keep you up out of the water a little bit. I got really excited. I thought I spotted one, but no, instead we just spotted one of these towers that apparently has bees in it because I can hear them and a bunch of angry dra Draugr, but... The good news is, is there's a Draugr spawner. Ow, dude. There's a Draugr spawner in there. How did he hit me again? Okay, uh, that's not good. I don't know where I'm getting shot from, but I'm about to die. Oh, no. Where? How? There must have been one behind me somewhere. Yeah, because look at the angle of that arrow. Wow. Okay. Well, what is that? Death number two, three? I don't even know what our death count is now. Well, that sucks. Draugr are dangerous. Okay, we're getting close. We got some Draugr. We're just going to keep moving. We'll be fine. We just got to keep moving. Um, I need to go over that way. Oh, crap. They're everywhere. Let's see. Are we lined up? It's hard to tell when the when the map is so far away. Or when, you've, when you're like really zoomed out. All right. We're zoomed all the way in now. So we should be able to run right like this. Yeah, right there's a Draugr right there. That's the archer, I think, that killed us. Where's my body? There it is. Oh, swing and a miss. Come on, stamina, 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 stamina. Corpse run buff for the win. I'm trying to get out of that area. I'm trying to get out of that area and someplace safe. Oh, crap. Is this another one? I am going to pick these thistles. <laughs> is this a safe place? Sometimes these are safe, safe havens. Yeah, I think we might be able to climb up here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're good up here. We can get up here and use this as a little safe house. Well, uh, that was good times. Let's re-equip all of our stuff here. Actually, I think this is the direction that we need to go anyway. Because this seems to be where the, the swamp is expanding out a little more. If we uh, take a look here. Yeah, we just kind of got to run in this direction a little bit. This might be a terrible swamp. This could be just trash. Because I haven't really found anything. I mean, we have that one spawner there, which is kind of nice because we can just farm entrails. <gasps> is that a crypt right there? I think we found one. Right when I was starting to talk smack about how trash it was. Yep, yep, it's in the water. It's buried. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. 
You know what I think I might do? I might... Let me get rid of all these guys so I can think and talk at the same time. Okay. I might go back to the house, break the boat, jump through the portal, tear that structure down, and come over here and build right next to this. Because we can build off of this or on top of it and use this as the base for our structure. Because it's a little further in and it has easy water access. You can see, I mean, like, go right out to the ocean there. And it looks like uh, right across there is more swamp. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. You know, I don't know what I was thinking, but for some reason, I was thinking that in order to make the cauldron, we needed uh, copper. But it's not copper. It's tin. And we just need the forge nearby. So, um... Let's go out here and let's see about making that happen. Um, or you know what we could do? We could just break the forge and move it. Let's just do that real quick. Okay, forge is placed. I'm going to try something here. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to attempt it. If we put this here and we use it, it needs to be under a lit fire. All right, and we have a gray dwarf problem, so let's go get rid of this idiot. And uh, repair our beehive since he felt the need to beat the crap. Uh, they're all over. What What is going on right now? Really, Grey Dwarfs? I'm trying to do stuff. You're eating into my time. Okay, now can I use it? Now it's usable. Okay, so now we have everything all in one fire. It looks kind of janky, but whatever. It gets the job done. And now we can just break this down. And we can go out here and put the forge back where it was. And now we can actually have... Some decent freaking food. Finally. Finally, some decent food. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Sausage time. All right, there we go. We're almost there. We just got to wait for that neck tail to wear off. Look at those stats. Finally, we have some freaking stamina. Oh, my God. So good. Okay, so we have everything here. We're going to run through the portal. I'm going to work at night. We're just going to do this at night. We got to hurry up. We're running short on time. I might leave a chunk of this platform. Oh, there's so much wood down there. No, we're going to have to go down there. Oh, we're not going to be able to carry everything. We're going to have to put some stuff in the boat. So we're going to have to go down here and place the boat. Well, let's, you know what? Let's just, can I just, uh, hmm. We just drop it. If I drop it over here. No, I need to sail out that way. So we're going to have to run down here. Let's drop it right here. Okay, there we go. And then dodge these idiots. Jump up here. So that gets rid of some of our weight. So now we can carry this wood. Okay, let's shoot these idiots. Okay, one down. Get, dude, get off my boat. Over there just messing with my boat. Mucking stuff up. Now I got to run over here and repair it. Okay. All right. We're good. I'm going to leave the rest of that there. Okay. Let's go sailing. Let's get out of here. I've had enough. All right. Here we go. So some of you may be wondering why I didn't just go destroy everything and run over here. One, I didn't want to take a chance of dying and losing everything. And two, I want the boat already over here because I want to sail over to there and see what's over to there. Now, there's a few good reasons that uh, to build on top of these. One, we should be able to put down a fire without having to worry about any issues as opposed to as if we were to do it from the treehouse perspective over there we weren't able to put a fire down until we get iron and we can you know you you guys know the drill but over here because we're on a stone structure we should be able to put down uh, a fire without any issues so the first thing we're going to do we're going to drop our crafting bench let's just put that there for, for now and then, do we have the stuff? We do not. We need some stone. Is there any stone around here? Because I want to grab a little bit of stuff and put down a fire so we can start to dry out a little bit. So let's see if we can find a little chunk of stone. Okay, I have a little bit of stone. We can now put down a fire. So I think I'm just going to put the fire right here and then we can clip our floor underneath of it. Like that. Here we go, and we're just going to take it out. I'm not going to build anything too big. We're just going to build something quick and dirty like we did over there. Just so that we can, we're secure and we can easily get back and forth to right here at this location to farm this. And I'll go get the key and then I'll come back and then drop the 
or open it and then take the key back. That way I don't gotta worry about losing my key and fighting that a-hole over again. I mean, I know it's difficult because you can just get your body, but like, you know, it's early access. Things happen. I've heard of people losing their gravestones, so it makes me nervous. So let's just put this uh, right here like that and uh, then we'll just start throwing up some walls. So I went back and I grabbed the swamp key. We're gonna make a few little additions here to the house structure or the fort structure. We're gonna do that. We're gonna place some stair. Uh, I kind of wish those were a little more. Hmm. What if we did something like this? No, I hate that too. All right, that's not ideal, but uh, it's not the worst that it could be. All right, let's get rid of these leeches because, you know, always with the leeches. And then we're just going to run over here. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's see if we can just get rid of that leech problem altogether by doing something like this. Just raise that ground up so that we don't have to deal with them. And then what we can do is we can place something. Let's eat all of our stuff again. We can place like some stairs right here. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. And then uh, let's grab this and then we can do some stair action like that. So anything that comes up here, I don't think this should prevent anything from getting into the house because you have to jump here to get up into the house. So we should be fine there and then we can easily get up there. Okay, let's uh, open the gate and then we're going to go put the swamp key back just in case any craziness happens. And with that, I think we're going to have to wrap things up there because we are well over our wrap up time. Um, next episode, we will go into the crypt and see if we can find everything we need in there. We need to get the boss location and we need the, the withered bones in order to summon him. So I don't know if we're going to get all that out of one crypt. Um, the iron's going to be nice as well, but I'm mainly after those things there. Uh, we still have a lot of bronze to make to uh to you know bronze make bronzy stuff you guys know what's up so if you are enjoying this series and you want to see more make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell all that good stuff you guys know what to do all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible y'all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my league crew patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and share your Support. Until next time, thanks for watching.